Hi everyone, Charles here from MLU Papers. How are you doing today? Long time since we had a little chat time together. And today, first time on the channel, let's speak about a topic so hot that it just set the machine learning community on fire. Last Friday, April 12, 2024, NeurIPS, one of the most prestigious machine learning conferences, opened a call for high school projects. More precisely, high school students will be able to submit research papers on the topic of machine learning for social impact. And no, despite all appearances, it is not an April Fool's which arrived too late due to poor video planning. In today's video, we will first delve into NeurIPS publication process and then see what the new decision changes. Finally, I will present the main points of controversies and the arguments from both sides. So as a disclaimer in this video, I will present what happened and the opinions of both parties as objectively as I can, so that you can have all the elements to decide by yourselves whether or not it is a good thing. All the jokes and sarcastic comments are only here to make the video more enjoyable to watch, so enjoy! Founded in 1987, the Conference on Neural Information Processing Systems, or NeurIPS, is one of the most prestigious machine learning conferences. But you already know that if you watch my video on the resources used by machine learning professionals. And if you didn't, make sure to check it out at the end of this video. The link will be in the description box down below. All of the papers accepted to NeurIPS can be found in their yearly proceedings. Since 2022, there are two tracks to submit a paper, the main conference track and the datasets and benchmarks track. The main conference track contains research papers on various topics, from theory to applications. Those are essentially similar to the ones that I present on this channel, like this one up here, setting aside the fact that the papers presented at MLU Papers need to pass my biased yet careful reading. On the other hand, the datasets and benchmarks track contains some very nice datasets and environments on which to train and test our newly designed machine learning algorithms. But not only, NeurIPS also includes a competition track, Every year, you can submit a machine learning competition, which is a dataset with a clear scientific question. Anyone is invited to design an algorithm, which solves a question, and achieves a good score on a given dataset. The best participants, as well as those who launch the competition, will write an analysis of the results of the competition, which will be published under the datasets and benchmarks track. For both tracks, the submission process is very competitive. Each paper is reviewed by three to five other researchers who will, time and dedication permitting, have a written discussion with the authors to check the correctness, originality and usefulness of a work. The whole process is anonymous, except when deemed impossible in the case of some non-anonymous datasets. Now, let's have a look at the call for high school project and what it changes. But before that, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of the next videos. That really helps the channel. Thank you. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos. There are explanations of recent research papers in 10 minutes, but also blogs, tips and advice for those of you who are interested in a career in machine learning. High school papers at NeurIPS. A few days ago, NeurIPS launched a call for high school projects. In short, it will accept paper submissions written by groups of high school students in the field of machine learning for social impact. Each work must be performed entirely and only by high school students. The submission will be non-anonymous and there will be no discussion with the authors. Well, actually, the authors will receive no feedback at all. And finally, the winning authors will be invited to attend an award ceremony at around the time of the conference. Final important point of consideration, the accepted papers will not be in the proceedings, at least from the information I have at the time of release of this video. Now, that looks great on paper. This is a new opportunity for high schoolers to get started in our beautiful field of machine learning without necessarily adding potentially substandard papers to already overcrowded proceedings. Now, how did the research community react to that? How would I describe that? Imagine what would happen if you opened a restaurant serving pineapple pizza in Naples. Yeah, that's it. Somewhere between the chaos and the revolution. Now, beyond pure chaos of voices for or against, four main concerns were raised. For each of them, I will try to give you objectively the point of view of each side, with a tint of humor to make it less boring. Number one, children's well-being. Some people argue that high school is about the time when children should broaden the horizon. They should play sports, read books, learn foreign languages or basic math. They should protect Gotham City instead of looking for a joker with unrealistic promises for their future university studies. 
they will have plenty of time later to use ChatGPT to produce pages that no one will read anyway. In contrast, supporters of a project argue that if high schoolers have a passion for machine learning, why stop them? There are worse activities to perform at that age, like collecting toenails or staring at a wall eight hours per day, for example. Number two, fairness. A child whose parents are machine learning engineers or who is enrolled in a private school offering introductory machine learning courses might have a serious advantage over those who are from more modest backgrounds. Now, among those who raise that concern, two opinions emerge. There are those who say that this idea is as big and bad as dinosaurs and therefore should be subject to a meteorite shower until it is wiped off our memories. And then there are the less extreme ones who think that complementing it by an equal opportunity track might make the idea better or who knows, even acceptable. Number three, reviews. To check the submissions, this will require more work from reviewers who are already overburdened by the humongous amount of publications in our field. Although Batman is already busy with Gotham City, he also has to care for New Rips Town. <sighs> Finally done with the main conference submissions. Great, now you can move on with the high school projects. What? What is that? That's all I have to review? No, of course there is more. Those are only the ones due tomorrow. Oh, long night ahead. Oh, and don't forget to fix the coffee machine when you have time. It's been down for a week now. Oh. While everyone agrees on this, some people point out that this problem is not new and it was already here before. And while this is an issue, we should not use it as an excuse to reject papers. Number four, the quality of the submissions. This is probably the elephant in the room. Many are concerned that the quality of the papers produced by groups of high school students with no supervision may not quite meet New Rip's standards. This is like inviting teams of high school students without a coach to compete at a world soccer championship. On the other hand, supporters of the idea claim that some very bright high schoolers can actually produce quality work, and in any case, the accepted papers will not be in the proceedings anyway. So rest assured, our young soccer enthusiasts won't be playing in a big stadium, at least until their bodies grow big enough to wear a t-shirt large enough to display the names of all the universities and sponsors involved. Jokes aside, there are also many people who like that idea, but not its implementation. Why not a track of tiny papers as implemented for underrepresented minorities in iClear, another top machine learning conference? Why not a workshop where high schoolers might learn and discuss with more experienced researchers? And the list goes on and on. So there definitely exists a possibility that the format of this call evolves in the next few years. All right, now that you have heard most of the arguments of the topic, what do you think about it? Are you for or against this initiative? What should they do to improve it? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you think. I know we are forming an amazing machine learning community here on YouTube and thank you for being so respectful of others' opinions in the comment section. That's really awesome. Is this a miss or a hit? Only time will tell and the first edition will take place in December of this year at New Rips 2024. I'll keep you posted, so follow for more. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon, I would really appreciate. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos for more or less technical content. Thanks again so much for watching, I wish you a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!